he was telling me, what is it about me that makes you want to run? One moment I'm nothing and the next I'm the one. I'm feeling unstable, I'm feeling undone. What's left of this love is no longer fun. So I said, it's not full-fledged flea mode, it's simply hesitancy. So I don't want the good to lose any relevancy. A bump in the road is what it looks like to me and when things are going so fast, those may be necessary. So then he said, but it's making things difficult and that's more than I bargained for. All this pacing and uncertainty, this thing is losing its allure. Never a bore, but your indecision is blinding me. I don't want my fascination with you to prove a mere fantasy. So, I was like, well, were you attracted to a mirage? Because I am who I always was, and the girl you thought you knew just grew to be the woman who you said you loved. True, I may sometimes slight you due to bites from my past, but wouldn't I be ignorant if I put myself last? And then he's all, I don't understand your immature reasoning, it's half-baked and undercooked, it's plain and needs seasoning, and you didn't ever listen to me, so I know you didn't believe in me. Why do you always have to make it seem as though you're going to be leaving me? And so I turned around and went, I don't appreciate the way in which you're attacking my maturity. You're not in my head, and though I have not granted you authority, for you to question my feelings for you is like a breach in security. How can you think so little of me, yet require so much more of me? And then you're going to tell me, take a breather because you're getting really emotional. I just want to know how you expect me to be devoted to you. And so then I was like, well, obviously I'm beside myself in regards to the situation. I don't know what you expect me to do with all of this information. So he said, you seem to be heading full speed ahead towards a life you want to soar in. Yet the brakes come slamming down whenever I try to come with. I said, it's not my intention to be who you mentioned. Sometimes we're up, sometimes we're in the trenches. It's not fair to ask me to know now what I may not know until then. Because you know there's a point before we sink, before we swim. We're all floaters. So he said, it's over. And I said, probably won't notice until you stop looking and I won't really get a taste until you stop cooking but if you're going in my A I'm gonna keep looking look even in LA my mind is still Brooklyn and if I find you and beg you to stay I hope you don't book it and if you're ever incomplete I hope that I took it and I know that that's selfish it'll be selfless in time once I no longer desire to consider you mine it's not easy loving and growing, but I, I know you have to grow to love enough to say goodbye. And I know I have difficulty making up my mind sometimes, but I want you to know that I always saw you and I intertwined. Maybe our hearts will overpower our minds, and it won't be a question, we'll just find our way back to each other, like we never ever left. But we'll start from scratch, love at first sight, like we had never met. Either way. I know I'll see you, and when I do, what will you say? He looked at me and spoke. I'll say, I love you too.